Hey, I'm Coach David Adess. I offer self-discovery coaching. And the topic of today's video is I have trouble slowing down. So this video is probably for you if you know you need to slow down, you recognize that you are suffering consequences of not relaxing enough, winding down enough, taking time, give yourself room to breathe and just be, and maybe do whatever you feel like doing at the moment. You're feeling the consequences of kind of not giving yourself more time and space, but you have difficulty, and this is how I'm going to phrase it, believing in the process of slowing down. And this is, I think, very common uh, nowadays. And you can reference uh, very popular burnout ideas, burnout society, and right, everybody's burning out. Their schedules are filled with productive activities and entertainment activities, which do not leave space. Productivity and fun, they're fine, but they don't leave room for what is quiet. And this is a dilemma because your inner voice, which is the most you thing about you, is quiet. The world is very loud. Devices, colorful, flashy, noisy, drama of the world. Inner critic, very loud. You should be doing this. You should be that. You should... There's no space for you. Which our culture is uh, quite happy with. If you slow down, if you're not working or having fun, <laughs> something's wrong with you. <laughs> Taking a step back from reality, inner voice. There's no room for that discussion. So many reasons not to believe in the process of slowing down. In, in other words, many inhibitions on the way to learning why we slow down. If we weren't taught in childhood, if we weren't modeled, if it wasn't modeled for us. Realize that when you go to slow down, what I'm saying is there is a reason for the inhibition on it. There's a reason for the obstacles that you encounter. It's very difficult to claim that space today, to take your time. It is an active thing. I'm going to take my time. I'm not just going to flood myself with productive tasks and entertainment tasks. I'm going to take my time. Once I'm there, then I can decide what I want to do. But let me restore myself. Let me kind of realign myself. Let me make sure that I'm being myself so that all of the doing that I'm participating in is not some facade or some robotic, I'm doing what I'm supposed to, but it's like, oh, I feel, I feel good about the journey that I'm living and I'm, and I'm learning about myself along the way. And this, that's taking place because I'm aligned with who I am. In order to get back to yourself, your inner voice, which again is the most real, it's the most you thing about you, speaking of yourself, in order to get realigned with yourself, you need to give yourself time. So, you hear somebody say, take 10 minutes to journal. That's a good idea. Then you go to journal and you're like, what's the point? What Do I just like write about my day or something? Realize that when you're going to slow down, whether it's journaling, whether it's laying on the ground and looking at the sky or your ceiling or just taking some time to listen to some music that you like, realize that when you're slowing down, you're, you're confronting a lot of taboos. You're going to go through a lot of thorn brushes, cultural messaging that doesn't want you to slow down because you, be, you should be busy being a good consumer. You should be busy being a good worker. You should either be producing or consuming. How dare you slow down? There's a cultural inhibition on it. There's your inner critic. How dare you slow down? You think you're worth taking time? You're, you're not worth your own time. You should be perpetually uh, giving it away. Realize that maybe the reason that someone has a pattern of not slowing down might be because of deeper, kind of repressed uh, reasons. Well, when I slow down, I feel bored. When I slow down, I get anxious. When I slow down, I get lonely. When I slow down, realize that the act of slowing down represents 
uh, quite a confrontation. Quite a confrontation. You're confronting the taboos of this world. You're confronting maybe internal taboos. You're confronting the inner critic. And it's easier than to just not slow down. Instead of wasting time uh, mastering the anxiety that you would need to master in order to learn how to slow down more, why not just get back to being productive? Why not just do something very pleasurable that is supposed to restore your energies, but it kind of perpetually fails to because uh, doesn't have to do with taking your time and, and, and really just being. So with all this being said, recognize that taking your time or slowing down is a healthy act of aggression, one that needs to be taken if you're going to be at home with yourself, be yourself and actually become who you become instead of who your inner critic wants you to become, instead of who the culture wants you to become, you need to slow down to see who you are. And when you slow down, not only might you be confronting a lot of inhibitions and taboos that are difficult to deal with, so you need to be there with yourself as you're slowing down through the uncertainty. What am I doing? Why am I doing this? That might be the process of learning how to slow down. You're also, slowing down is also like throwing a fishing lure into the lake of your inner world. You're telling your inner voice, you're signaling to yourself, to your psyche, to your unconscious or subconscious if you prefer, you're signaling to yourself, hey self, hey inner voice, if I put a journal in front of me, it's the fishing pole, if I put a pen in front of my hand, if I go for a walk, are you going to bite the lure? Are you going to be there when I slow down? Or am I just going to encounter my own loneliness, my own anxiety, my own boredom? And then it's like, Ugh, what's the point? Slowing down is a, uh, an act of belief in yourself. You're giving yourself the benefit of the doubt that even if I don't spontaneously intuit, what's the point of me opening a journal? What's the point of me slowing down? Even if I, even if my ego can't quickly deduce the rational reason for why I'm slowing down in the first place, I'm still going to do it. Because I believe that there's something true about me, maybe it's in the gut, that needs my assistance. It needs me to make room for it. And that's what slowing down is. Your inner voice, your, the depths of you are like a mouse in a hole. And your conscious mind is a room where that mouse hole is in the corner. You need to get the mouse to come out. You can't be filling the room up with noise and busy activity. Then your inner voice is like, oh, okay, I'll like wait because you're doing something important. I'm not gonna like, I, I can't make that much noise and compete with this busy world and what's going on inside of you because I'm a little squeak, squeak, squeak. You need to make room for yourself. You need to hold space. That's what that means. Or that's an example of it. You need maybe need to dim the lights you need to put a little fishing lure, which is like a little piece of cheese, open the journal and just sit there with it. And then wait. And depending on your current relationship with yourself, depending on inhibitions or trauma or pain, the inner critic, how you're feeling that day, what's going on in your life, depending on so many factors, the mouse will not come out. The mouse will come all the way out. The mouse will come a little bit out. You might be disappointed, you might be elated, you might be, but you might be. And that's like the ultimate taboo in this modern world. How dare you might be? How dare you uh, slow down and try to convene with something real about you? You're not real. You're a capitalist consumer. You're an entertainment holic. How dare you might be? Taking your time then represents some healthy act of aggression 
And uh, remember that. Give yourself the benefit of the doubt that if you carve out more time for yourself, if you make more room for yourself, well, just based on the fact that you feel the need to do it, it might be important for you to follow through on that. If you want to meet with me personally, you can click the first link in the description below to schedule a free 15-minute discovery call with me. Speaking of self-discovery, like this video if you do like it, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe to see more, and I will talk to you soon.